Dear Bungie, as a lifelong Warlock main and somebody who's played Destiny 1 since the beta, I want one thing brought into Destiny 2, and that would be the Sunsinger Warlock class to be brought back. Hello, Guardians. My name is Tolerant Madman, and you may not know me, but I know a lot about being a Sunsinger Warlock, and in this small little note to Bungie, I want you to understand why it was the greatest class to ever grace a video game ever. People who have started playing in Destiny 2, or even have joined in in the Beyond Light expansion, have no idea what a Sunsinger Warlock is. And it is something that they are sorely missing out on, something that they have never seen before, the likes of which has not even graced Destiny 2. Nothing even holds, its, holds a torch to what Sunsinger Warlocks were in Destiny 1. So in this, I hope that you all understand why I so desperately wish for it to just straight up replace Top top Tree Dawnblade, and that we do get to keep Middle Tree Dawnblade. Before we hop into it, I'm going to ask if you like the video to like the video, and if you like the content, to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any more of our uploads. Getting right into it, the Dawnblade Warlock had an ability where he was able to cast it, and he would be able to throw grenades very quickly. He would gain a shield and increase damage. What this was was nothing as to what it could be. Whenever you would go down in the down but not out state where you could be revived by your teammates, you were able to activate your super, which would make you jump right up like a phoenix coming out of the ashes, allowing you to clutch up some of the most important fights. Nightfalls when they used to send you back to orbit. Clutch up with a Trials of Osiris win whenever you were the last one down. This was what the Sunsinger Warlock was the best at. Understanding when to use this was the difference between a loss and a resounding victory for your team. No team was complete without a Sunsinger Warlock. A team of three Hunters, that's not good. A team of three Titans, that's not good. A team of three Warlocks, as long as one of them's a Sunsinger, there's a good chance you're gonna pull through. I played Voidwalker for the longest time for Devour, solely for Devour. Whenever I discovered the Sunsinger Warlock, I never looked back. Going into Destiny 2, I was so excited to see what they had made the Dawn, Dawnblade Warlock into, and was disappointed whenever I discovered the two trees, the Attunement of Flame and the Attunement of the Sky, neither of which featured the Sunsinger's Fireborn ability. I was disappointed, crushed. It was horrible. But then there was hope. There was hope in the in the form of the third tree to each subclass added to every single subclass. And for the Dawnblade, we got Well of Radiance, which pales in comparison to what the Sunsinger Warlock was. The Dawnblade's Well of Radiance allows you to insert your sword to the ground, giving basically a healing and empowering rift at the exact same time, but way stronger. While I do run Phoenix Protocol, Well of Radiance Warlock all the time, it is amazing. I will not say that it isn't, but it is not a Sunsinger. And I wish so much so that anything could bring back Sunsinger Warlock. I'm not saying that you should get rid of Top Tree Dawnblade, which if they wanted to, I wouldn't mind, but they should be, and this is a reasonable thing for everyone, have a Well of Radiance exotic, say chess piece, I don't care, that will make it to where the Warlock's Well of Radiance is replaced with the Fireborn modifier for the Sunsinger Warlock, allowing them to bring themselves back to life. I don't want all the shields or the, the grenade cooldown or cooldown for ally, and then none of that support bullshit. I want to be able to come back to life. And I want that now. Going into season 14, I want that to be at the top of Bungie's list, to bring back one of the greatest classes that has ever graced a video game ever. There is nothing that quite captures the feeling of being a Sunsinger Warlock either. The sense of purpose that you can run into an objective, say your teammates went down heavy and hot, you could get there and res them, but there's no way you get back alive. And so, you go after them, you revive them, and on your way back, you take fire. You go down, and then Fireborn, and you're back. 
this is somewhat encapsulated in, say, the Sentinel Titans, but not quite in the exact same manner. And this is what I want to be brought back, is that sense of purpose where, say, you have to run an objective and you're not going to make it back. You have to run and grab some moats in, say, the Prophecy Dungeon, but you don't think you're going to make it back to your crew. And instead of going down and making it to where someone else is probably going to go down or have to waste a super to get you, you can revive yourself instead. This is something that they need in this game. A game where it is often talked about, the final stand, people going into completely overwhelming odds, and the Sunsinger Warlock would encapsulate that sense of pride that the Dawnblade, used to, that the Dawnblade does not have, but that the Warlock subclass fire subclass used to hold. That is all I really have to say on the Dawnblade Warlock, but if you support my viewpoint for the Sunsinger Warlock to come back and you probably just replace Top Tree with Dawnblade or come back as an exotic, make sure you like this video, comment down below whenever you started playing Destiny. And if you started playing in Destiny 2, go look up some footage about the Sunsinger Warlock. You will be very impressed. I promise you that. And so this is Tolerant Madman signing off. I'll see you later, Guardians.